The error message session one initialization failed typically indicates a problem during the initialization phase of a software or system component. However, the specific cause of this error can vary depending on the context in which it appears. Some possible causes for this issue are software initialization issues, system resource problems, dependency or library issues, or a corrupted installation. So you can try the steps outlined in this instructional video to resolve your issue. First open start and type CMD. Right-click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type SFC slash scan now. Press enter. Wait for windows to be repaired. Type exit and then press enter. First open start and type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type the following command and then press enter. Wait for windows to be repaired. Type exit and then press enter. Now your problem should be fixed. First open your start menu and type device manager. Open your device manager. Expand display adapters. Right click your display adapter. Select Properties. Go to the Driver tab. Click on Update Driver. Click on Search automatically for driver software. Wait for the update to be installed. You can also click on, search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Open Start and type Device Manager. Open your Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click your Network Adapter and select Properties. Open the Driver tab. Select Uninstall Device. Press Uninstall. Now restart. First open a folder. Click on My PC. Right click the drive you want to repair. Select Properties. Open the Tools tab. Go to the Error Checking section. Click on Check. Click on Scan or Repair Drive.
Now your drive should be repairer. Press close. Press OK. First open start and type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type the following command and then press enter. D. Being my hard drive. Yours could be C or E etc. Now your errors should be repaired. Now your errors should be repaired. Type exit and then press enter. First open your start menu. Open your settings. Open Windows Update. Open Advanced Options. Click on Recovery. Go to Advanced Startup. Press Restart Now. Press Restart Now again. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Settings. Press Restart. Press F5 on your keyboard. Search for Windows Memory Diagnostic. Open Windows Memory Diagnostic. Press Restart Now and check for problems. Wait for your PC to be repaired. 